So here we have to infuse 150 ml of 0.9% saline over half an hour. And the question is how many ml per hour we will run this. So one way we can work this out is uh, actually writing down the volume. Usually we say when we have uh, volumes to be infused, we say it's the volume over time. And it's clear here we are being asked to use mils per hour. So we'll leave the time. We'll have to have the time in hours. So volume 150 mils per well, the time we have is half an hour. So if we use a calculator here, we just have to be careful how to enter that half. What is half an hour? What is one half first? Let's think. We'll, we'll think of a different ways here. Half an hour is 30 minutes, but not changing it to minutes. If we still want to have it in hours, a half, which is the same as 50%, is what decimal number? Most of us will remember it is 0 0.5. So that would just make the entry in the calculator easier if we use 0 0.5, unless we have a scientific calculator, which is not necessary really. So what, what do we have then? We just do the, the calculation, 150 divided by 0 0.5. But before I push the equals in the calculator, let's try to do an estimate here. 0 0.5, what's happening here is how many 0 0.5s go into 150? Let's say if I had a, a 2 on the bottom, and I'll do the calc here on the bottom. 150, let's say, divided by 2. How many 2s go into 150? 150 divided by 2. So we'd say 75. Then if we said 150 divided by 15, how many 15s go in 150? 10, because 10 times 15 is 150. So now let's even do another one here using 150 divided by 1. How many 1s go into 150? Well, exactly the same, 150. So if we are doing 150 divided by a half, or 0 0.5, which is the same thing. How many halves go into 150? We'll have 300. So let's see, because there are two halves in each hole. So it's twice as much as the, the one hole 150. So pushing the button and uh, doing the calculation, we must get exactly the same answer. So 300 mils per hour. So now we are answering exactly what the question asked in mils per hour. If we wanted to do this in a slightly different way, what we could do um, would be maybe to try and use the box method and just say, well, what do we have? It's not a concentration, but what we have here is we have to infuse 150 mils over half an hour. And the question says, how many mils per hour will you run this? So per hour means per each one hour. So I could put here one hour. So if we did the calc like that, it would look exactly the same as before. Multiply the diagonal. So 150 mils multiplied by one hour divided by the third number, which is the half an hour. So in the end, it doesn't make it any different. So it will be still the 300 mils per hour. But if we decided from that original box there to change the half an hour, just in case if we really wanted to go down to the minutes in the workings before we give the final answer, half an hour, everybody knows, is 30 minutes. The one hour that we need here is exactly 60 minutes. So this one hour that we actually want to run the infusion for is here in the 60 minutes. So let's use the same approach to solve the box. We multiply 150 by 60 
and then we have to divide by the third number, which is the 30 minutes. But you see that we are now matching minutes. It's hour with hour or minute with minute. So in the end here, we can even do some more mental calcs looking at 60. If I first divide by 30 instead of multiplying, 60 divided by 30 is 2. So 150 times 2 is 300. So what, what is in the box here? The, the, this part that we are actually after is the mils. So it's 300 mils over 60 minutes. But we, we know that the answer has to be per hour just because the question is asking that. So we rewrite it as 300 mils per 60 minutes is one hour. So same as before, but just in a slightly different way.